Did you know that 98% of cyber attacks rely on social engineering? That's right, nearly all cyber attacks bank on manipulating individuals into revealing sensitive information. Social engineering is the art of tricking people, exploiting the human element to breach security systems. The statistics are staggering, highlighting the vulnerability of human trust in the digital age. It's a chilling fact that makes it clear. Understanding social engineering isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. So, what exactly is social engineering? Picture this. Let's start with a common form of social engineering known as phishing. You receive an email from a seemingly reputable organization, say your bank, urgently requesting you to update your account details. The email looks authentic, the logo, the format, everything checks out. But here's the catch. It's not from your bank. It's a scammer posing as your bank, hoping you'll fall into their trap and hand over your sensitive information. Next, let's take a look at baiting. This is akin to the classic carrot and stick approach. The cybercriminal leaves a seemingly harmless USB stick in a public place. On it, they've placed a label indicating it contains something enticing, like an exclusive sneak peek of an upcoming blockbuster movie. You find the USB, your curiosity peaked, you plug it into your computer and voila! The malware embedded in the USB stick now has access to your system. Then, there's pretexting. This is where the scammer creates a fabricated scenario to manipulate you into providing information. Imagine getting a call from someone claiming to be from your internet service provider. They tell you they've detected suspicious activity on your account and need to verify your details. They sound professional, they seem to know what they're talking about. So you hand over your details not realizing you've just been duped. Lastly, let's talk about quid pro quo, which is Latin for something for something. A fraudster may call you posing as a tech support agent, offering to fix a non-existent problem on your computer. In return, they ask for your login credentials. You think you're getting help, but in reality, you're giving away the keys to your digital kingdom. These examples illuminate just how easy it is for cyber criminals to manipulate individuals into giving away sensitive information. Now that we understand the problem, how can we protect ourselves and our businesses from these cunning cyber manipulations? Well, the first line of defense is knowledge. Understand that social engineering exists and is a frequent tactic used by cyber criminals. Get familiar with common social engineering methods such as phishing, pretexting, and baiting. Educate yourself and your employees about these tactics. Knowledge, they say, is power, and in this case it is a shield against cyber manipulation. Next, put in place strong protective measures. Implement multi-factor authentication for all your systems. This adds an extra layer of security, making it much more difficult for cyber criminals to gain unauthorized access. If they managed to trick someone into revealing a password, they'd still need that second factor, like a fingerprint or a unique code sent to a mobile device to get in. Also, ensure your systems are regularly updated and secured. Cybercriminals often exploit known vulnerabilities in software and systems, so keep everything patched and up to date. This includes your antivirus software, operating systems, and all applications. Finally, remain vigilant and skeptical of unsolicited communications. If something seems off, it probably is. Trust your gut. Always double-check before clicking on links or downloading attachments, no matter who they appear to be from. Remember, knowledge and vigilance are your best defense against social engineering. Be proactive, be aware, and stay safe in this digital world. By now, you should have a solid understanding of what social engineering is and how to protect yourself against it. But let's remind ourselves that cybersecurity isn't just about us as individuals. It's a collective responsibility that we all share. Each one of us plays a critical role in maintaining this digital fortress. Just as a chain is as strong as its weakest link, the same applies to our shared cybersecurity. If one person slips, it can have a ripple effect, impacting everyone else. So let's not be that weak link. Stay informed about the latest scams and their methods. Regularly update your software and back up your data. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. And remember, never share sensitive information unless it's absolutely necessary and you're certain it's safe. Do your part in securing your digital world. 
Stay educated, stay vigilant, and encourage others to do the same. After all, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility.